We start in Warren County where we learned today that suspected killer and kidnapper Michael Burham had eight or more bed sheets that he tied into a rope when escaping the Warren County Jail last month. Our Ethan Kibbe was at the Warren County Courthouse today for Burham's preliminary hearing. Ethan is here tonight. Ethan, Burham's escape and the subsequent manhunt garnered national attention. So what more did you learn today and what's next? Eva, think about that for just a second. Eight. Eight or perhaps more bed sheets all braided into a rope the way you'd braid your hair, according to a City of Warren police officer. That's more bed sheets than a standard washing machine will hold, but Michael Burham allegedly got all of those sheets up to the roof when he escaped the Warren County Jail. We'll talk more about that escape in just a second, but let's take this chronologically and start with that alleged kidnapping of a Warren County couple that led to Burham's initial arrest, from which he later escaped. Those were the first charges, those kidnapping charges, to which Burham answered today in his first appearance in Warren County since that manhunt. We heard from the woman who was kidnapped as she described finding Burham in her garage. He allegedly told her, quote, we're going on a trip, forced her into her house at gunpoint, stole her husband's clothes, loaded both of them into the car, and started driving to Charleston, South Carolina. She described asking over and over if he was going to kill them, saying they weren't even let out of the car to relieve themselves that entire 18-hour trip. Eventually, she says, Burham unloaded her and her husband in a cemetery. That was more than enough for the judge to pass that on to trial, saying that the prosecution had met the burden of proof required to get a trial on those kidnapping charges. After that, in a case handled by the Attorney General's office, we heard from a prison guard and a Warren County police officer as they discussed that alleged escape. Now, we didn't learn too much new there, aside from, again, those eight braided bed sheets. And I had previously confirmed when I was in Warren during the escape that anyone who's let onto the roof has to be physically let on there by a guard. So it begs the question, how? How do you get eight bed sheets to the roof? We still don't have an answer to that. It likely will be some time until we do. An arraignment is scheduled for next month, and at that time, a trial date will be set as this case progresses. But as you can see, we're learning more, but still a ton more questions as well. Ethan Kippy, Erie News Now.